So this video is still, um, it's just a, a video on representation theory. We are still doing some reviewing of linear algebra. <laughs> In this video, we're going to review the concept of trace, very important concept, especially here in the context of uh, representation theory. So the trace of a matrix A, and the matrix will be A i j, is defined by dr, so the trace of A, is the sum of the diagonal, right? All the a i i. So a one one. For instance, if you have a a two by two, right? So this will the trace of this matrix will be a one one plus a two two. Okay, uh, adding the the diagonal. Okay. Some important facts concerning the trace function. So the trace will be from the space of matrix matrices to the complex numbers. And this map mapping is linear. And another very important fact is that the, the trace of a product of matrices uh, the trace of AB equals the trace of BA. Um, so consequently, the trace of, if you um, commute this B A B inverse equals the trace of B inverse B A equals the trace of A. So this, this will be valid for any um, matrix P. Matrix, well, any invertible, any invertible uh, matrix P. Okay. Um, if T is in the set of anomorphisms of a space, a vector space um, V, then we can we can talk about trace of t, trace of the transformation. Okay, um, how do we do this? It's very easy. We choose a basis for the vector space V, right? This is in a vector space V. We choose a basis. A base. I'm going to write this way. Okay, we choose a basis for uh, a basis B for the vector space V. And we simply compute the trace of the associated uh, matrix.